guys, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and I am here with a live hangout video. So basically, I have a wonderful box. Oopsies, let me close this out. I have a box of goodies that Rose sent, and I got a few pieces of friends mail that I want to make sure that I say thank you for. And I just realized I closed out my request. I mentioned I have a request and I closed it. So before we get started, I wanted to share with everybody that our friend Julie Vanerim's daughter is um, fighting uh, cancer. She is a young, young mother, and they have started a GoFundMe. Um, I have linked it in the description box below. I'm going to screen share real quick so you can see a picture of her and their young family. So if you are able, you know, every little bit adds up. Um, that That is a request that is out there for prayers and good thoughts. And if you're able, well wishes and financial <laughs> help on the GoFundMe for, for their family. Um, okay, so going forward, hello in the chat. We've got some friends here. Hi, Diva. 20 2006 and Lydia Purple Lily. Hi, Joni and Paula. Hi, Donna and Tam's Place. Hello. How's everybody doing tonight? I have had a really bad day. <laughs> Do you see my face? I'm like trying to get there. Today's been a day, um, but I'm pushing forward. I'm, I'm believing the rest of the evening is going to get better, right? It can only get better. Hey, Chicago Crown Hustler. How's it going? Okay, so I got some friend mail this week. I got some friend mail from Donna McLean. She sent some um, Captain Underpants books for my boys, and I would show them to you, but my boys have already taken them. Uh, and she also sent me, she knows I'm a rock hound, so she sent me this really cool agate, and I believe it was a tie bar or you could like a scarf pin. Um, but, but anyway, isn't that cool? Really nice piece of agate. And with the light through it, you could see the rings even more pronounced. It's really, really cool. <laughs> I look tired. Don't get me started. Whew. And then I got a really cool piece of friend mail from Nancy White. Let me share this. She sent me, this is a, it's a cake topper. I don't know if you can see it through the bag. We'll see if I can make it happen. It is Harry in there. And he's pushing his uh, trolley through platform nine and three quarters. And there's a Hogwarts Express back there. See? Very cool, because they don't make these anymore. This one was from 2013, or it says sell through, or yeah, 2013. So very, very cool, Whew, I know. And then the nose, like, because we've got a tropical storm heading in, and so it's pushing in all kinds of like weird stuff that's like making me all snuffly. I won't bore you with how my, my day, <laughs> what all happened, but it was, whew, it was one of those days, it was like, if something was gonna go wrong at every turn, it did. So this is probably a horrible idea, but I'll laugh about it at the end, right? <laughs> Maybe, hopefully. Um, hello, Debbie and Anita. Hi, Gwen. I know it's so hot in Nevada. 113 degrees in Nevada. That's crazy. That's too hot. Um, hello, Lori and Marcy and Tina and Jolene. Okay, so we got another package from our friend Rose, and it is a big one. Uh, and I know I won't be able to get through it all this evening, but I wanted to share with you big box from Rose. I haven't even cut into it yet. So I thought I would come on and just hang out. I, I needed grown up time. So I do, I did get some comments on my last, the last couple videos when I do this, they are like, I like to see the jewelry, but you just sit and talk to people in the chat. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Um, but I need it. <laughs> so I did. Uh, the last jewelry one I did, I tried to be well on point. So I'm trying to alternate, you know, whether I talk to people more or um, or just stick to the facts. So I'm trying to accommodate everybody. I'll do my best. But I like, you know, I need grown-ups. I need to talk grown-ups. It's really warm in here, too. So I'm wondering if my AC just went out. Because it's hot. I wonder if I should go check. <laughs> No, no, I won't. That'll be weird. Okay, it'll be fine. If I start sweating, though, I am sweating. Um, I've had a rough day as well. Storage is an issue when you resell and have a booth. The struggle is real. It's totally real. And I am going to check the AC and see what it says real fast. Two seconds. It's right outside this door. Hang on. If I can get up without knocking everything over. Hang on. Uh, hang on. One second.
I don't know. Should be fine, but I don't know. <laughs> it's just warm in here for some reason. All right, so let's dig into this jewelry box that bought um that rose scent. Here we go. All right. Again, I haven't peeked in here at all, so I have no idea what we've got. And <laughs> okay, so we have these really cool, these are like 80s style earrings. They're enamel on this card. Yes, true, Marcy. You can never please everybody. Hi, Mary. <laughs> Keeping it real. That's right. <laughs> what else could I do? Sweat through it all. <laughs> okay, and then this is really pretty. Look at this one. So this has got, it's got that like fishing type wire. I know it's not fishing wire, but it's that cord. And it's got some really pretty glass beads. I love these with the little flowers in them like that. <laughs> love your, oh, thanks, Caroline. All right, so that one's really pretty. I think these are metal too. Yeah, these ones are metal on there. So that's pretty cool. I try to decide when I look at them, is this something I'm gonna put in a lot or do I think it's something I'll sell individually? And I think I might try to sell that one individually. I think it's pretty enough. If you get a, a good picture um, and brighten it up, I think it will go well. I do. <laughs> Let's see, oh dear, I missed something. Uh, yes, okay. Then we've got some bangles, and I'm a sucker for bangles. So this one is a, looks like brass, or, you know, mixed metal that looks like brass. And it's got this dangle little plastic crystal on it. I know it's not a real crystal. Some people will nitpick over my words, but you know how it goes. Anyway. <laughs> so, oh yeah, Rose sent this to me. Ro yeah, Rose is our... She's becoming our benefactress, <laughs> our jewelry benefactress. This is really cool. It's very geometric. Hello, Jenny. How's it going? <laughs> so, and then another bangle like that. Then, ooh, so we've got a big flower, and it is on a pin, a birch pin, like so. That might look kind of cute, like that, right? That's cute. It's like a silk flower. Then... I'm checking the chat. Oh, some jewelry. Okay, so these are like for making jewelry. They're really nice. So there's those. And I'll set that to the side. Very cool. And these are glass beads. Nice. So I think she, she goes and she gets a lot of um, jewelry jars and lots and things like that. And takes the things I, I hope that she wants to sell. And then she sends me the rest, which I'm happy to receive. Absolutely. Oh, I remember what else I was going to talk about. Oh, I meant to do it at the beginning. <laughs> the channel just hit 11,000 subs. I'm saying that out loud, right? Right? 11,000. Yeah. And I was going to do a jewelry jar giveaway. And I forgot to say it at the beginning. Maybe I'll make a separate video tomorrow <laughs> just to do that. Because, I, yeah, maybe I'll do that. <laughs> because, yeah, how fun is that? That's cool. Okay, look at this one. This one's really cool. And this it's got like this button right here. I know I, I uh this is my day. Anyway. <laughs> so that is nice. I love the button on it that looks like the coin or that's a little coin, you know? Okay. Yeah, 115 in Mesa, Arizona. Excessive heat. That is excessive. And we get hot in Texas, but man. Thanks, Lydia. Thanks, Jolene. <laughs> All right, we've got some more cool plastic beads, like a teal color and a red. Do you sell supplies on eBay and Etsy or just Etsy? I, I put them on both. I put them on, if I can, whatever I can put on both, I put on both. And then what I can't just goes on eBay. Ooh, this is super 80s. Oh my goodness. Is there more than one? I think it's more than one. Hang on. What is it one? Is it all one big? No, it's not. So, okay, they're all connected somehow. But look at them. They're these pastel, big plastic beads. These are so 80s, like early 90s, aren't they? Oh, my goodness. This brings it back. Like Easter egg colors. Aren't they pretty? Yes. Okay, let's go over here. Yes, 99 in Houston with humidity is worse than 115, Jenny says. Oh, our humidity is bad. And look, she's so nice. She puts batteries in the, in the watches for me. Look, 
So that is a nice little slap bracelet watch. Geneva is what that one says. And that's another thing. I've got to learn more about watches. So that's coming up. Yeah. There's that. I wonder if those are back in... I mean, I know some of the 80s stuff is back, but I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know how 80s they want to get. <laughs> or only the cute 80s. This is cool, too. I like that. So this is a... You know me. I always get the copper and the brass flip-flops. I need to compare them against each other. I think that's like a copper. Yeah, that's a... No, that's a brass. <laughs> that's a brassy color. Um, so yeah, it's these little, you know, domes, dome type beads. I know they've got a name, but I don't know them right now. And then that's the ending. Very cool. I like that. Kind of tribal. That one I would sell by itself for sure. Trey, do you love the pastels? Pardon me one second. Sippy, sippy. Okay. <laughs> then... We've got these faux pearls. Looks like it's missing a strand, but still really pretty. And I have a bead caps. Yeah, right? It kind of looks Egyptian, that the metal one. Um, <laughs> I love them anyway. Yeah, so this one, I've got a, a, a tub going that's got, you know, faux pearls and rhinestones and stuff in it um, that I'm going to probably lot up when I get enough going. And somebody will love it. They will. And then these are some beads that have the, like the threading on them. I know there's, again, you know me, and I can't keep all the words in my brain, um, but it's the kind of bead that has like threads on it. And there is a word for it, and I can't think of it. They remind me of those Christmas balls that have them, you know, on the garlands. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, and then this piece is a plastic, sort of like a cameo, but it's a plastic piece like that. Hello, Opera Mom. Hello. So that's a nice... I mean, somebody would like that for a craft, for sure. Copper is more red. They called me copper when I was a kid. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. Like, when I see them side by side, or when I see copper, I know it. And then, for whatever reason, my... I don't know. I don't know why. Okay. Christmas ornaments. Yes. Okay. Then, we've got these pearly... They almost look more like buttons than beads, you know, like those kind of buttons that poke out like so. Really cool. Yep, copper top satin. Yes, they're like little satin ones. And then this one, I can't tell if that's brown or black. I think it's brown, I think. Yeah, I think that's a dark brown. So that'll be fun to describe. Pinched beads. <laughs> cool. Then we've got some more, pl oh, lots of these ones. These are kind of like Mardi Gras beads, but not exactly. They're pastel, like so. More pastel. Oh, those bring, <laughs> those bring it back. <laughs> All righty. So, how's everybody's day been? I need to hear that somebody else is having a better day. <laughs> what you been doing? All right, this is one of those that goes in like a sweater or a shirt. They have little buttons that are preset on there, like that. Faux pearls are of interest to vegan women. Oh, that's a good point. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, you know, yeah. Sometimes you, and the thing, and then like wood jewelry too, people have said, yeah, put vegan for when you have wood jewelry as well. Good to know. Okay, then we have this silver tone. I guess it kind of looks like a leaf. Just a figural piece of something. Not a figure of an animal or anything, but just the shape. Abstract. There we go. And I don't, I don't know. It looks like it, I'm trying to figure out. I mean, I guess you could put a jump ring and make it a pendant. It went to something, but it does not on it anymore. Pastels would make great garlands for Easter trees. Easter tree? Do you have an Easter tree? I don't have an Easter tree. Okay, this is very specific. This is for Heather Marie. What's Heather's middle name? We need to find out. Oh, good. Oh, congratulations, Caroline. Caroline got top-rated seller status today. That is good news. That is very cool. Ow. Ooh. Pins. I got poked. That's okay. I see something awesome. It's a belt buckle. Here we go. You've sold an Easter tree before. I've got to find out these. It's like a, a, a Christmas tree, but an Easter tree? Does it have eggs on it? I think I know what you're talking about. I think I've seen them. Now that you're saying that, like, I think I have seen them like a Tuesday morning. So we have a belt buckle that has a, it looks like a Chinese dragon on it. And it doesn't look like it's missing any of the little 
It's been bedazzled, right? Like the little bedazzled egg ornaments. There we go. Oh, Ginny says, I know someone that has a tree up year round. They have it has Fourth of July decorations right now. How about that? I know a lady that she puts a tree at Christmas time. She has a tree in every room of the house. Yeah. I like Christmas too, but my thing is, I know if I put it up, I have to take it down. That's a lot. But hey, whatever makes you happy, right? And if that makes you happy, so go for it. You only live once. All right, these are cool. Very flat beads. Again, the pastel theme is continuing. Boy, I hope this uh, pastels come back soon. Because <laughs> I think it's green right now, right? That's the, that's the hot color. And then this one is, I think, leather. You know what it reminds me of? My grandmother had gone to Africa, and she brought back a bracelet that was similar to this, but it was, it's, not, it's not this, but it was made from elephant hair or something like that. But it was shaped in this way, and yeah, cool. Um, how do I store my stuff? Do, I don't have a basement. No, we are like right at sea level, so basements don't work here. And I just have a shelf, and I have tubs, lots of tubs. So, yeah, I have big shelves in my workroom. I did a video when I, when I got it all fixed up and clean. I would show you now, but it's embarrassing again. <laughs> and my table, oh my goodness, don't get me started. Okay, then I have bags again on the floor. I have bags I've been sorting to make lots with. Is that a teaching for me? Oh, thank you. It's about time. <laughs> unpaid buyer, right? I had to f open an unpaid buyer claim. I took your best offer. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell in your ear. <laughs> I took your best offer. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Uh, so we've got this really cool blue, like navy blue and white. I I'm hoping this style comes back because there's a lot of this stuff. I mean, this was like, again, like 80s, early 90s. I would put Lolita on the pastel stuff. That style has a lot of pastel. Oh, okay, okay. I have a question. Oh, how do I keep them from tangling? Um, I don't know. I, I once, okay, so once my items are listed, I have these little drawers, you know, like top, like it's like a f little drawer thing. Okay, I'm going to show you. Don't judge. It's a mess. So do you see over there, those right there with the labels on them? That, that's all my unboxing stuff I need to do. <laughs> this is how far behind I am. It's like little teeny drawers. So the, once it gets listed, if, it's, if it can fit, it goes in there. If it doesn't, it goes in a shoebox in like a baggie, and then that's it. And then rings go in like a, I have a ring thing that you put all the different rings in. Big mess. Big mess in here right now, though. I'm just a busy, busy girl. And then summer camps, oh my gosh, we're everywhere. Ooh. Uh oh, this one's broken. Oh dear. Okay, that one will save you for a second. It's another one. It looks just like this, but with silver. Yeah, nuts and bolts drawers. There you go. So this is cool. This one's black and gold beaded necklace. And there's a black and silver one, but the, um, whatchamadoodle, the beads just broke off of one of the, the, strings i bought a I, and speaking of that when i was at that roll necklaces and paper towel look at look uh -huh. so marcy was just talking about this when i went to that garage sale this weekend one of the necklaces was rolled up like this in this paper towel and i was like what a good idea that's all like that and uh, my grandmother would store like fine chains like this in a sucrets tin if you know what that is uh, and then she would put a little baby powder in there. And so the baby powder would keep the chains from tangling up together. That's what my grandmother did. So, sucrex tin. Yeah. Straws. Yeah, straws are good for the finer chains, too. I don't, I, I, I don't know why it bothers me. Lots of other YouTubers, like Jason, will make cocktails and stuff. But if I have a glass of wine, I don't know why I feel weird about having a glass of wine and drinking it on the camera. But I don't. I don't like to. So I take a sip. <laughs> I don't know why. It's probably no big deal. Anyway, whatever. I'm a grown up, right? <laughs> All right, then we've got some yellow beaded necklaces. And we've got some more bangles, like so. Very cute. How'd I put the bangles? Okay. 
And, okay, so this is one of those sort of macrame ones again. I know I'm old enough. I just turned 43. I think I should be okay, right? Maybe when I'm 50, it'll be okay. <laughs> so there's that one. Cool. That will probably go into a lot. And then this one, this is like Amish. Like, look at these little Amish guys. The guy and the little Amish house and the Amish lady. I might try to sell that by itself just to see. It's wine 30 for me, Gwen says. Hi, Nini. Hello. So there's that. Yeah, I may try to sell this by itself just for fun, just to see if I can. Straws is a good idea. Oh, yes. Yes, today is full of tips. Good. All right, this bag gets to wait for a minute. Put that to the side. And next up, it's awfully warm still. And I probably won't. Oh, happy birthday, Nini. <laughs> I probably can only go for about another 15 minutes. I don't know how long, uh, when I started. The guys went to the pool. So how long have I been at it? 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, the guys went to the pool. So I was like, let me jump on. All right, this is a cool one. It's got clear beads and then these green ones that are, they are look like they're inset with um, beads, but they're not really. It looks like there's little rhinestones in there, but it's not. It's an illusion. They are really um, holes that are painted with silver paint in there. So they don't actually have any stones in it. Cool. You can't lose them if you don't have them. And then another ear crawler. One of those earrings that's like so cute. Like that. And next up, this is... This is like a native style choker, but it's not. It's a, I mean, it's made to look like that, like a Native American like choker, you know, with the beads and the leather. It's real thin leather, real thin. It's still pretty. I think I'd, I think I'd try to sell that by itself. I do. Love that ear crawler. Awesome, Joni. There's that. Where'd I put it? I put it down there over there. Okay, I'll find it. <laughs> And a little key. What is on that key? Okay, I'm going to have to look and see because there are some shapes. Is that a little mushroom house, like a little fairy house? What's that? Maybe not. I'm going to have to look a little bit closer to see what that is because there's some figure over here as well. I can't make it out. Cool. Cool key. Looks like something from King Kong. <laughs> okay, then... I'm trying to get to the stuff that I can get to easy. Oh, that's cool. Okay, then we've got some more bangles. This is a big pink one. Isn't the key cool? I've got to get my um, magnifier out and take a closer look at it. Then we've got some more little bangles here. And this one looks like it's inset with wood and metal. That's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> the crazy card, you should see my organization system. I'd love to. <laughs> okay, then this is awesome. So this is a big pendant. It's really big, like so. Very large. Hey, Nancy. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, Nancy, I was thanking you earlier for sending me my Harry Potter. Yeah, uh, there he is. Hogwarts nine and three quarters. Um, cake topper, yeah. I'm doing well. Elaine is doing well. Everybody's doing well. My mom just had a birthday. I took her for lunch. Yeah, it was good. Hi, Linda. It's Rocky Mountain Finds. So, yeah, we've got this really big. I mean, I guess I could get like a cord or something like that that would go in there. I think I probably have something like a velvety piece that would go in there. It's pretty awesome. It's heavy. Then, next up, uh oh, tingles. We've got this little dolphin hugging a they call that tiger's eye style right <laughs> the blue where it's um it looks like tiger's eye but it's not tiger's eye it's like faux you know what i mean like that little dolphin on the chain and this one oh, that's cute it's a little bar and it's got an m on it m for margaret haha -ha. you know i there was some jewelry from the last um haul that I was going to keep and I decided no I'm not going to keep it. I tried it out and then didn't end up keeping it. One of them was one of one of them was that necklace that I just showed you and the other one were those little earrings. 
Where'd they go? These ones. I was going to keep these little horseshoes, but then I realized I like dangle earrings better. So I decided I'm going to sell them after all. I do. Thank you so much, Nancy. Oh, my boys were wanting to tear into it. And I said, no, mine. <laughs> Unless it was for them. But I said, mine. <laughs> okay, we've got a puppy heart pendant. Cute. Again, yeah, again, we're like reliving the 80s here. Oh, all right. We've got some more pearls, some faux pearls in there. Man, I think I just need to put the kids to bed when they come home and come in here and play with this jewelry. <laughs> I need some quiet time amongst my jewelry, <laughs> my hoard. <laughs> this, oh, this is cool. Look at this. At first I thought it was like a napkin ring. Maybe it is a napkin ring. It's awfully big. Or else it's for a scarf or a shawl or something. And maybe it's a napkin ring. What do you think? Jenny says, my mom was 84 yesterday. My mom, she had a round number yesterday. and probably wouldn't want me to share what it is. Pardon me. Okay, now, next up, we've got a big wooden necklace with these like teardrop shaped beads very cool very cool like that nice and some more lots of beads lots of beads we've got some blue ones and we've got let's see if i can get these oh they're kind of all connected but well, they are all connected so we've got some more black ones these ones and there's a black bracelet connected there. You can see it. And then another black necklace. Oh, the garage, the British lady ones. I actually already did it. It was the one where I had the camera facing down at the table. I did, and I, I did the videos out of order. So I needed to, I needed to put a note on there that I actually already did it. So it was the video that I did where I was trying to have the camera and shooting at the table. And I got a lot of comments saying that it was really hard to see the stuff. And that was not my intention. <laughs> I was really trying to get it clearer because I thought, oh, maybe y'all were, you know, like tired of me holding stuff up to the camera like that. Um, but apparently not. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, that's the one, that's the one. And um, yeah, so I know now. But if I'm doing things like testing things with the acid, I have to do that because I can't lift it up and show you, look, you know, that's okay. You try new things, right? You just try new things. Boy, this looks like something my mom would have worn like when she was going to the office. Well, she didn't work in an office. She worked in the library. But she loved these colors. And she would have loved this because like, it'll go with everything. It's one of those. It'll go with everything. Yep. Yeah, it's, and it got some good stuff. I did. Hey, Rose, thank you for the box for going through it right now. I obviously, you know, because you're here. Hello. <laughs> thank you. Uh, hi, Janina. Hi, hi. Okay, then we've got this leather strap bracelet and it snaps on. It's got these little bobbly name again escapes me. They're riveted on though. <laughs> we like seeing your face. Thanks. Love them anyway. So there's that. Very cool. Yes, yes, cool stuff. We're loving it. Lots of like 80s pastels. Oh, I like that. And then those wooden beads were really cool. Yeah, cool stuff. Very cool. Thank you. Okay, then we've got some more black beads and little findings that are really cute. Like so. 49 watchers, 11 thumbs up. Yes, go over there and hit the thumbs up, guys. Thanks for coming to watch, everybody. Okay, then, oh, this is my green. I love green. That's really pretty. So we've got some nice green bead. I would probably list this one by, by itself because I just love it. <laughs> I like when you see more. Oh, thanks, Tam. Oops, that's the one that was broken. So with this one, let's see if I can grab the end of this. So I'll show it to you, and then I'll set it back down. So this one, the, the cord broke, but that's okay. It can be fixed pretty easily, I think. So there's that one. Let me set it to the side so I remember. Then we have got this bag with some more, it looks like beads and necklaces in there and matching like a mate and stuff. So there's that one. 
There's some really cute little clip-ons in there, like that. Then, let's see. Oh, see, I always like these, but I, I, don't, I never thought I looked good in them. So this ribbon style, look at that. I like it, but I just, like, I don't think I have anything to wear it with, and it's so pretty. It's one of those that I would, like, hang from something because I like it. Anyway, <laughs> it's cute. You see? Like so. Very nice. I like that a lot. Okay, then, they're not broken? They're not? Oh, the one's in that bag. Oh, okay. I was worried that they were stuck in there because maybe they were... Oh, you're right. They're not. Haha. -ha. There you go. Oh, my goodness. And then there's this one, like so. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, pretty. Okay. There's this one. Very nice. So, Rose, do you, when you find all this stuff, you, you take stuff that you like out, yeah? Hopefully. Oh, cute. Oh, cute, cute, cute. You can't see what I'm looking at. I'm just looking going, cute, 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 cute. <laughs> no, 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 no problem. No, no, no. All right, then there's this one. Nice. Oh, good. Okay. Well, she says, yes, yes. She, can't. she takes stuff out. Good. Then these are these, they're like a taupe colored earring cool and then these are really pretty they have these black enamel and a little stone in there very cute and then these are nice too you don't see a whole lot of just like neutral hoop earrings I don't anyway so that's nice and again I think these might go together or is it no no here we go or maybe they do maybe that's a set Ooh, yes I'm telling you what man where's the 80s and I need it. This is so, this just brings it right back. All of it. Okay, this goes back in here. Good. Yes. If you're watching this later, try to catch it live because we have, you know, there's a lot of chat going on in the, uh, <laughs> in the, in the chat. Lots of chat going on in the chat. And you're missing it. And you can come hang out and we'll talk. All right, this is pretty. Love the purple. Love it, love it, love it. <gasps> Ooh. Hang on. I got to look at this first. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. It's almost like regal, you know what I mean? Very, very pretty. Like so. And then there are matching earrings. Little dangles. Hi, duck a doodle doo Like that. There. And then it is Mark. Oh, it's a 1928 one. Aha, that explains it. I usually like their stuff. I love seeing different kinds of jewelry finds. My mom's a jewelry hand. I don't wear much myself, but I love seeing and selling it. Isn't it pretty, Joni? Oh, so pretty. Makes me want to go watch the Tudors. <laughs> then I'm going to set that one to the side because I like that one. <laughs> then next up we've got some shell bracelets and another with the macrame with the... Is that a glass bead in there? Yeah, a little glass bead. And these these are the sound makes me think of like when you go and they've got the the curtain in the door, you know, and you have to like go through the curtain because it's made of all these little shells. That's what it makes me think of. Even though they're necklaces. <laughs> anyway, sounds, you know how it is. Then, oh, we've got a bit of a tangle here. How am I doing on time? About three more minutes, and then I'm going to stop because my guys are going to be back any time now. And you know what I have to do? Bath time. Bath time. Oh, this is nice. Really long. Very long, and it's got all these little beads. Like, um, they're faceted, and they've got a bit of an iridescence on them. And then the square ones are glass with some gold. Nice. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I like that. No, no maker's marks. That's cool. That's cool. I still think it'll sell. I have to learn how to, to get better pictures of long necklaces. Looks like another King Kong jewelry, she says. <laughs> Tam says. Okay, then we've got this one. And I have some others similar to this, so maybe I'll lock them up. We've got a lot of them. I don't know. Or sell them. I bet they would sell individually. 
I mean, they're that's my phone, obviously. I mean, they're more they're more readily found nowadays, but I don't know. Maybe I will. Um, <laughs> Nancy says I wear some pieces when I'm out in public, and when someone comments on it, I tell them it's for sale. Now for my business card, <laughs> I like it. The shells and the, oh the, yes, yeah oh yeah the shells and the choker yeah look like King Kong jewelry. Arc oh okay yeah I hope you find some jewelry jars. Yes. Okay, a couple more bits, and then oh is that a no? What is it? Was it a neck earring or was it part of a necklace? What do we think? I'll have to find out. I'll set it back in here till I find out. Then let's find. Let's do two more pieces. How about that? Two more. First is this is a oh it's a oh man really we're talking about the 80s here okay we've got an ID bracelet it's John's it says love Stacy oh <laughs> there's that to John love Stacy and then this one Come on now. It's tangled up a little bit, but it's got all these little leaves and pearly beads on it. Like so. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, Carl says, pleasantly surprised to see you on Nick Hill's channel. Oh, yes. Good to see more UK. Yes, yes. Good job. 40 sales in three weeks. That's really good. Thanks. All right. So then there's this wonderful necklace. Very cool. <laughs> Tim says maybe I should start wearing more jewelry. Maybe. Okay, so we'll have to go through some more of this later because I've got to get ready for when the, the guys get home. But thank you again, Nancy, and thanks so much. Uh, Nancy's over here, Nancy's box. Thank you so much, Rose. Thanks, Nancy, for the Harry Potter. And thank you, um, Donna, if you watch later, for the awesome books that you sent my boys. And, yeah, if you're watching now, hit that thumbs up. If you're watching later, um, join us next time. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button and, and catch me live when I go up again. All right. Thanks so much, guys. I'll talk to everybody later. Bye. Have a good evening.